I get a lot of requests. They say, Hussy, do you have any kind of sweet recipes out there? I say, not really. I need to have more. I'm not that big of a sweet person, but sometimes I like a little sweet in my life. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, already kind of sweet. I don't know. So I got a little bit of inspiration from about two or three different places. Number one, my boy CJ from Blackstone. He made these like little French toast roll-ups. He had like a breakfast sausage in it, rolled them up, made it like French toast roll-ups. <whistles> boy, it looked good. I like some good groceries. Second, there was a lady, her name was Michelle. She kind of did a spinoff on CJ's and did that as well and posted it. I thought, man, I like that idea. I'm not gonna do it like that. However, I wanna do it with some apples and I'm gonna do it with some peanut butter and jelly. And we're gonna make that some French toast roll-ups. We're gonna cook it on the Blackstone Grill. It's gonna be some good groceries. And with that, let's get going. So what's our suspects today? So what we're working with, we've got a little bit of sliced brioche, okay? Got our apples, some sliced apples. I took like a can of apples, chopped those up, and I'm gonna add some stuff to it because I feel like it just needs a little bit more. I got our jelly, got our peanut butter. So now we're gonna get everything ready for our custard roll for our roll-ups, okay? Got some cinnamon, got some vanilla, got butter, got some eggs. All right, got these nice, neat little pampered chef, uh, little breading bowls. I really like them. So we're gonna take two eggs. Hold on, dos. Zhuzh those up a little bit. We got, this is a half a cup of uh, half and half. Um, I would usually like to do heavy whipping cream, but guess what? I didn't have enough. I got one tablespoon granulated sugar. We're gonna do about two teaspoons of vanilla flavor. I just kind of eyeballed that, by the way. One, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'll we'll eyeball that too. And to that too, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit, a little salt. We're just gonna set this off to the side. Oh my gosh. God almighty. Dang it. Y'all, I just don't know if today's my day to be shooting. I just got a lot of things going on. I got this freaking wind that just blew over a very heavy weighted stand. Uh, I got batteries dead, I got my mic batteries, my camera batteries. It's all gonna be all right though. We're gonna shoot a video and it's gonna be awesome. All right, so we got our mixture. It's nice, dreamy, and all that kind of good stuff. This is gonna be used for a little dusting. After it's done, we're gonna roll them. We're gonna roll the rolls in this. All kinds of goodness. A little bit of sweet dessert shake from Uncle Steve. It's gonna be yummy. So it's just got, it's got brown sugar. It's got honey powder in it. Uh, it's good stuff. I put this in my kids' pancakes whenever, uh, whenever I fix them pancakes. All right, so I said our apples. I need to church them up a little bit. Yeah, church them up. What do I mean by church it up? They taste okay. They're a little bland in my opinion. They need a little bit more sweet, even need a little bit of salt. So I got two tablespoons of brown sugar, about a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put those right in there. It, it really needs them. It, it, don't, it don't have a lot of sweet to it. See, I wanna see that right there. I can see stuff in there. This is really the star of the show. A little brioche bread. I'm gonna take our trusty doll strong knife and we're just gonna come in here and take off as gently as possible the ends, okay? Just gonna line them up. Line them up, 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 like that right there. Now, this is what we do. We take one of these rolls here. I got a little, little small roller. Just wanna come in here flatten her out. That's gonna be our roll up. So you got your apple mixture. You can use whatever kind of filling you want. You could do cherry. Uh, you could do a little bit of little cream cheese be good. Uh, really the sky's the limit y'all. And then uh, you just take your, take your bread, you kind of fold it in and then kind of, kind of come in here and bring it back nice and tight. Just like that. You also don't want to just kind of stuff them in like that. If you want to get real cute, you can kind of crop these off. This is hussy, you know? This is the way we do it. All right, our apple 
Roll ups, they're done. Time for our PB and J. Take a little bit of peanut butter. Gonna kinda come in here just like that. We're gonna zoop, just like that. Some jelly. And then the same thing, we're just gonna come over, pack it up, and roll it. The bread is actually drying out because we're outside here. Um, so I gotta hurry up. Time to get these things rolled in our mix and get them on the Blackstone and be cooked, all right? So, what I like to use, I like to use butter. Anytime I do pancakes, French toast, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna come in here. The Blackstone has been pre-warmed. I'm just gonna come in here and I want a lot of butter, all right? I mean a lot. I had everything on low, still kind of, you know, a little hot for my taste. So I just cut it off. That's what you do, you just cut it off and then I'll cycle them back on here in a minute, okay? This is the apple, all right? So we're just gonna come in here, making sure all sides are covered. You kinda want the griddle to be, you know, around a 300 and uh, 25, 350 degrees, all right? That's a, that's a good cooking temperature, all right? So that's our apples, we got our apples ready. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna do our peanut butter and jelly. You wanna lay, when you lay it down on the griddle, lay these down on the seam side, so that way it just kinda Kind of seals it up a little bit. I want to come in here too. I'm just going to drop some, just some butter along these, just because it kind of needs that lubrication. All right, flip these over. You want to give them about three minutes on that first side. Really depends on your temperature of your griddle, but you do want to make sure you know everything is uh, cooked through, right? Because you got those eggs, right? It's like a custard. Little side note, over here, I got some, uh, just some syrup, kind of getting warm back there. I like warm syrup, personally. But uh, got a little bit of hanging out over there. Just gonna drizzle it all over them. Boy, it's gonna be some good groceries. All right, y'all, hey, these are done. Again, you just wanna keep rolling them over. You want them brown on all sides, okay? Just like we have them here. It's, they're perfect. Uh, the stuff is oozing out of them. That means it's nice and hot inside. Uh, look at that jelly right here. It's just oozing out. Man, we're going to get these off the Blackstone, put them on a cutting board, and we're going to finish them off, all right? Look at that. Good night in the morning. Just over the top like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot one thing. We forgot to roll them. Got to roll them in our stuff here. Look at this. Forgot to do this. Come on, Matthew. Fancy like, fancy like. Yeah, baby. Look at there. Ta-da. What you know about that now? Woo-wee, boy. All right, y'all, hey, let's give us a try. Um, I'm gonna try this peanut butter and jelly first. I'll come in here, just back in. Oh, oh. I smell that PB, PB and J. I'm gonna get some of that syrup. <laughs> that legit right there. Other one with some these apples. This would probably be my favorite one right here. Look at that. Yep. <clears throat> Man. That apple. That brown sugar we put in there. That cinnamon. <clears throat> Got that custardy goodness. Whew, a little hot. This would be a good breakfast. Let's make a good dessert as well, y'all. Y'all, hey, I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, if you haven't by now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're at. Let me know what you think about the video. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, Hunger Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.